In this video, I'll show you Primaris versions of Pedro Cantor and Lysander. Hello Bits Brood, it's Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk here with another conversion video. So I'm going to show you some um, Primaris conversions for Pedro Cantor and Lysander. So Pedro I've already built and I'll show you um, I'll show you him and I'll talk through how he was built. And then um, the rest of the video will be me building Lysander. So yeah, I know um, these guys aren't Primaris characters, but um, I don't know, I like, to, I like to build everything as sort of Primaris now. So um, their original models do look a little bit silly leading a group of Space Marines who are much bigger than them. So I thought if you're like me and you'd like everything to sort of be Primaris, but you still want to use these characters, then I'll show you how, how I can convert or how I convert them up um, to represent them in Primaris armor. So yeah, before we begin, I just want to give a huge shout out and a massive thank you to all of our patrons who help support the channel. And if you want to know what our patron is all about, there's a link in the description right down below. So yeah, um, let's get straight into this video. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a half-painted Pedro Cantor conversion here. We're going to look at him and talk through him. And then I'm going to build Lysander, as I would on a normal conversion video. But yeah, I thought I'd put Pedro in here as well. So as you can see, I um, used one of the um, GW Hero bases just to make them like, stand tall. Um, you obviously don't have to do this. But if you want to convert your own sort of Primaris Pedro, you can start with just a regular Intercessor, no trouble at all. The head, I believe, is from the Vanguard Veteran set, or the Standguard Veteran. Um, just use any suitable sort of Veteran head. Looks pretty cool. Then we've got a right-sided Power Fist here. I can't remember exactly what set that's from, but uh, if you look, you've just gone bitsbox.co.uk and search for Power Fist, you'll find several Power Fists, I'm sure. This little tabard thing is from the Space Marine Commander. The point and arm, I think, is also from just from the Intercessor kit. As is the backpack, and as you can see, I've got this little Storm Bottler from the Grey Knight set. A little ammo pack which I think is from some sort of auto cannon, maybe like the, Sp the Space Marine Terminator one or something like that. It's been, it's been a while since I made this, so do forgive me if I'm not too accurate. And then I've got the ammo belt from a heavy bolter from the Devastator squad, which I've just sort of twisted slightly to make it fit around there. So yeah, pretty simple conversion. It's not brilliant um, by any means, but certainly it works well for Pedro. I just think you know, now we've got Primaris, I just don't think all the characters should be these diddy little space means. It just looks weird having a tiny little Pedro Cantor miniature lead on all these guys who are much bigger than he is. I think it looks a bit silly, but yeah, obviously fluff-wise, he's not a Primaris yet. So we're just going for rule of cool. And I'm going to put a little backpack banner thing on him. Now I have a Forge World one somewhere, I don't know if I've got it nearby. Or you could use Pedro Cantor's original one or one from a command squad or something like, like that. And um, yeah, that'll make them look even taller. I think you look quite cool. So yeah, as I say, it's only half painted at the moment. I'll try and get them done, and then you'll see them on our social media in the future. But yeah, so let's go build our Lysander mini. So naturally for Lysander, we're gonna use Gravis armor for him. And yeah, you don't have a great choice of miniatures so far. I didn't want to use the new Imperial Fist character guy because I'm obviously using him as well to so be quite similar. So I'm going to use the Space Marine Captain from the Dark um, Imperium box set. And as you can see, I've built his legs, body, cloak, and all that ready for Lysander. So I'm going to, first things first, I'm going to just make away with this thing on the top. Um, I don't know what this is, but that's going. I'm trying to get it off in one piece. Because, you know, I could use it for something later on. And um, that's gone. And I'm going to file down. Oh, forgive me if I end up going out of shot. I'll try not to go out of shot too much. Quite zoomed in. File this top down. Get that nice and flat. And then from the Space Marine Terminator set, I have this little icon here, which looks very similar to the one that Lysander has on top of him. So it works perfectly in its place. So a bit of glue there, and 
we'll stick that on now. You might not want to do this thing straight away, but I thought, why not? Is that hand? So cool. Give that some time to dry. And while it's drying, we'll go sort out some other bits for him as well. So I've been looking at heads. I'm not going to put the head in yet, but I've been looking at heads. Um, I mean, you could use any head, really, couldn't you? Um, I think I'm going to go with this sort of bald head here. I don't know what it's from. Um, again, you can just go on a website and just search for like Space Marine Bear Head, and you'll get loads come up. So just find one that's suitable for you. And I'm sure if you collect space means you've probably got loads lying around in your own bits boxes as well. So as for arms, I'm thinking of using the the arms that you come with, but obviously I'm going to give him a thunder hammer and a shield. So I'll just give this a little bit longer to dry and then we'll sort them out. So what I've got here is his arm. Neaten that up a little bit there, let's chop off a sprue. And obviously it has this little um, storm bolt thing on there. That's got to go. So I'll chop that down. Now it doesn't matter if it's going to look a bit messy because we're going to cover this bit up with his shield. So just neaten this up. on there. Oh. Get on there. There we go. And that could give us a nice little flat surface actually to attach the shield to. So the shield is one of these Forge World ones. Um, you could get hold of the original Lysander shield. Use one from Terminators maybe. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to put it on like that. And um, so the arm sort of goes down. So essentially it'll go like that. Now you might want to reposition the arm. Um, but it's up to you. You might just leave them like... Nah, the shoulder pad gets in the way a little bit. How did I have that before? Had it angled up a bit more. Yeah, something like that. Um, I don't know if you guys can even see what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, the shoulder pad does get a little bit off the way of the shield, but no, that's okay like that, having it down like that. Okay. So that's how I'm gonna do that arm. So yeah, you could angle it differently. You could use one of the aggressor's arms if you wanted, and they sort of kind of fit okay. Of course I could, could always chop this tab off and have it angled up slightly. But I don't know how he would, you know, if, if he'd be more relaxed carrying his shield anyway. Um, I'm not going to worry about that now. Let's move on to basis of a thunder hammer. So I love Lysander's, Lysander's thunder hammer because it has a fist on it. So I might try and... Um, replicate that. But first things first, we need to um, chop this sword down. So I'm actually going to chop off the whole hand here from there. So chop that off and chop off the handle. Now we might be able to salvage some of that pewter seal. It's got a slight tear on it, but yeah, I really expect pewter seals to not get torn on the battlefield. File that down nice and flat. And I've got one of these Space Wolf ones, mainly because it just comes with a hand. Now it is a terminate hand, so slightly smaller, but I think we'll get away with it. Um, but obviously I don't want the top, so I'm going to chop the head off it, like so. Cut it down there so it gives us a larger, flatter area to work with. So that's chopped down like that. So, and we'll get that attached on there. It just needs to be able to a little bit flat. So, I think the camera angled a bit too high up. 
Um, obviously, these little bits on the bottom, um, we'll, get, we'll do away with them as well. Um, yeah, I'll do away with them. I can always add something else on there. I think like that's okay, I'll just see how it goes on. Um, angle it slightly that way so he's holding it. Now what I might do is actually is um, have it so he's holding it down. So I'm going to let that dry and as I do, I'm going to chop this pin off here. So while um, these sort of um, ones from start sets are good, they do limit you with poses um, so you'd have to chop all these little bits off. Um, I still don't know what to do about that one yet though, but that's no worries. So I also have a Blood Angels Thunder Hammer, because I quite like the head head on that, but I might just replace the middle bit. Um, I really like the fist. I'm at this stage now, even now sort of starting this video, I'm not 100 percent sure what I'm gonna do. Um, I normally look at the things in between takes rather than being prepared right from the off. Which is probably not a good thing, but let's file this bit down anyway. I was thinking maybe just like a hand or something in there and then just run the fun hammer bits off of there. That might look a bit rubbish, but we'll see. So that's what we've got at the moment. And maybe. Yeah, so I quite like it like that. Get him in shot. Yeah, something like that. So he's walking along. Dun 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 dun. Traveling along. That's my walking noise. And we'll get it glued on. Let's get it glued on. That'll just be something a bit easier to work on when I add more bits to the hammer. Okay, so I'm going to give that some time, to, good time to dry, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've given him plenty of time to dry, and I've done a little bit of work off camera. So what I have here is the top of the Thunder Hammer. So this hand has come from the Chaos Havocs set. Um, it's just like a a left arm with a closed fist does not hold him anything, so I thought that's quite ideal. And then I used the top of the Blood Angels uh, Thunder Hammer. Um, I noticed actually, um, I've got these studs at the top, I think they're meant from the side. Um, not a massive issue, don't really care too much about that. But um, yeah, it'll essentially go on there like so. Now, obviously, that's not entirely straight, so I do need to just it down on one end for that just to get that nice and straight but again I'm just showing you how to do this to give you guys ideas I think um, Funhammer Top just needs a little bit of filing as well so it's a little bit messy around there but as I say these videos are just to give you guys ideas they don't have to be perfect Sure, if you guys are doing this yourself, you'll do a much better job than me. So get a bit of glue on there, like so. So, of course, you could just use a regular Thunder Hammer top, you don't have to go with a fist. Um, but I quite like it. Um, get it as straight as possible. It's just slightly bigger than the top, so it overhangs a little bit, but. pretty cool now I don't know if a fist is face it's meant to face outwards or inwards um don't really matter so that's that I get straight as I can that'll do like so the other arm I've glued on the shield a little bit messy and um, with super glue but that can go on like so I quite like it like that, but I'm wondering whether. No, I think having it higher up. Certainly, like that's awful. Um, I'm 
quite like it's to forward just a little bit maybe. Um, now I'm going to leave it like that. Because of the pose he's in, I think it's got to be sort of hanging behind him, sort of make it look like he is striding forward. Ideally, I'd like this. It should be this leg. Really, it should be this leg forward. And um, have a stride like this, but it's fine. Um, it's still a little bit wonky. Um, don't worry too much about that though. Getting glue all over my fingers. Um, there's a couple of other little bits to go. I've got this small shield here because my Sander has like a shield on his chest. So I'm going to pop this on. Now he has it sort of in the middle, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this little bit off the back of my clippers. Just oh, try not to throw it around everywhere. And I've got my little hobby knife just to neaten up the edges. You know, it says put a lot of paint on my fingers now. I've been doing some painting um, while I was waiting for it to dry, using lots of contrast paints. And I'm going to get a lot of it on my hand. Some of it did go on the miniatures, I swear. I'm going to just chop where that skull is. Give us a little bit of a flat surface to work with. And slap the shield in the middle. That shield's from the um, Terminators. Space Marine Terminators. Um, there is one with a fist symbol in the upgrade set. Um, but I haven't been able to get hold of any yet. So, that sticks out a little bit, but that's fine. And then we have his head. So I'm going to go with bald head I showed you earlier. And I'm just going to pop it in and use my knife to straighten it out. So the only thing I don't like about this sort of gravis arm is trying to get these heads in. And they don't want to play ball at all. They sort of wiggle around in there. So never super glue them in because I don't even think you'll ever get them in the way you want them quick enough. Um, just looking forward a bit. Um, I'm not sure actually. Um, I think the bottom of his neck needs to be trimmed ever so slightly. I'll file that down. So if you've got one of these sort of rounded heads, sort of with the necks. Um, it just doesn't quite fit in now. I think it's just slightly too big for that bit what's in there. So it's going to stick up a little bit. Let's see. Just can't get him in straight enough. Oh, I'm moving the shield about now. So we're just trying to push, push him down there. There we go. The head looks quite far back, but that's where it's meant to be in the armour. So that's just how it is. And I'll move them. Let's look that way slightly. Um, yeah, not too happy on the wonky nature of that, but uh, with that though, that's pretty much Lysander. Um, not too bad of an effort, I suppose. Okay, so let's pause and rewind here. Um, yeah, I'm not happy with how this miniature is looking, so I'm going to have to make some changes. So sometimes this is just the way it goes when you convert miniatures. It doesn't always go exactly to plan straight away, and... Yeah, I don't want to leave this as a mediocre miniature in a video. Um, I've already had to scrap one video over the last month because I wasn't happy with the uh, miniatures. Um, I don't really want to scrap this one, but... I'm going to make some changes. I don't like the pose, I don't like the shield, um, that's got to go. Um, I posted a picture of this up on social media to get some people's opinions as well. And yeah, there's just there's a few things that are just not quite right about this guy. So um, I also noticed as well, I forgot to put the backpack on, so I'm going to put that on as well. And yeah, I've got to change the position and I'm probably going to replace that arm and take the shield off. So um, yeah, it's probably not going to come off too... Oh. I'll say I'm not half too easy, it comes straight off. Um, hopefully, the arms will. That, something will have to go there. 
maybe something smaller. But yeah, um, the shield should come off quite easily. I'll try not to break it. I'm probably going to chop this arm here. Maybe use an aggressor arm or something. And then I think this thunder hammer probably needs to be angled downwards. And maybe have a shield across him. I think that would be better. I'm still not 100% happy with the head. It looks a little bit smaller in there, but I don't think there's much I can really do about that. And then maybe I'll find some other little accessories and stuff. Um, I know the Lysander miniature has quite a lot of purity seals, so maybe I'll add a few extra ones on him as well. But yeah, um, I just don't want to leave this as a mediocre miniature. So I'm going to pull them apart and see what I can come up with. Okay, so backpack's on, arms are off, and I've chopped this arm off here. And I've got this piece I've cut off and and I've cut off an um, inceptor, an inceptor um, in the end from the Dark Imperium box set. And I'm just rolling some green stuff here because I'm gonna have it sort of going across him like so and I'm just going to fill in that little gap of arm um, try to cut it to leave as much of the elbow as possible so probably going to need more probably everything I've rolled here so I don't use green stuff a lot in these conversion videos and um, sometimes I'll just leave the gaps and fill them in at a later date Um, I'm not going to neaten this up too much. Essentially it's going to be like that. Now I'm opening the shield when it's on will cover a lot of that. So you're not going to see a lot of this arm join. So it's really just for back I need to focus on making neat. So I'll use a nice flat bit of green stuff there like so. And when you're using green stuff, just dampen your finger and rub it on there, and that'll get rid of any little fingerprints and whatnot. I mean, you can use little clay shapers and stuff for it, which I do recommend, but that gives us a little arm. Now it looks terrible there, but as I said, the shield will cover a lot of the messy stuff, and you're basically left with that nice flat bit at the back. So that's essentially going to be the position of a shield, and I think that looks much better. And then I'll probably have this down like so. I don't know whether to... I'm just going to angle the arm away a bit, but I quite like it like that actually, so... So already I think that is just a massive improvement. So I'm going to get the other arm and the shield glued on. And then um, I'll be back to add just a couple of little puri seals and stuff. And then it'll be ready to go. Okay, so this is the pose I've ended up with. I'm still not 100% happy with his right arm, but um, I did play around with it, and um, yeah, I don't know. There's not really there's not really anything there that I particularly like with it. I don't know. The shield is just. A million times better. I'm so much happier with that. Um, a bit on the chest. I should have just left it as a skull. Um, I kind of regret that now. So pretend that skull is still there. But yeah, still, mm, I don't know. It's, it's a vast improvement, definitely. Um, let's get some purity seals on him. So yeah, I'm gonna add just a couple of purity seals. Who's someone his leg down there? Oops, knocking something on the floor. Um, I'm a bit awkward to get to now, but I'll put on that and just use my file to move it down. So I'll show you guys there. And I'm going to stick one on his shoulder pad just to make it a bit more interesting. Uh, got this one here. Like so. So yeah, as I said, um, it's all about the legs really, because if that right leg was forward then I think this pose would work a lot better. Um, you think about someone walking, this arm really should be sort of relaxed and sort of 
behind him, but when, I, when I've done that, it just looks, I don't know, it just hasn't looked right. There's something about it, I'm just not too sure. Um, obviously the head position would probably need to change as well, but I don't know, this is definitely a vast improvement on what I had before, so I'm going to just leave it at that. Um, but yeah, if you plan on making your own, play around with it, and um, yeah, you'll probably come up with something better. And um, you know, I've made mistakes in this video, so you guys won't do the same on your miniatures as well, but yeah. Um, I'll probably will end up using him in my Imperial Fist army, I'll probably end up making some um, modifications to him just because I'm sort of going with a theme and I want to follow that sort of theme but um, for this video, for purposes of this video, I want to do just a generic basic sort of Lysander that anyone could have a go at and use themselves so there is also um, a little gap there on the backpack now if you can get hold of an ag aggressors, yeah one of the backpack for the aggressors that would be so much better to use um, but yeah, a lot happier with him than I was and I gla I'm glad I didn't just leave it there and scrap the video, I'm glad I sort of come back and sort of talk to you guys through sort of fixing the mistakes and yeah. So um, thank you so much for watching, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and watching me make a balls up on this miniature. Um, let me know if, in the comments if there's any conversion videos you would like to see, um, I do have a couple of suggestions I will get round to as well but um certainly I'm looking for suggestions um if you anything and anything um just anything and everything I really don't mind I'm happy to try lots of different stuff to show you guys so yeah um, any suggestions leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Lysander and Pedro who I showed earlier and um, I'll see you all again in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.